Okay, so Apple is not slowing down. Today releasing iOS 17.2 developer beta one. Yes, right back to back after the release of iOS 17.1, 17.2 developer beta one is now available for registered developers. Now public beta testers, as per usual, you'll most likely see this populate on your device within the next 24 to 48 hours or so. Now keep in mind, this is the first beta. So this is overriding the entire operating system. So the download will be anywhere from six to seven gigabytes of a download. Now, of course, in this video, I want to talk about everything I've noticed so far that's new with the latest iOS 17.2 developer beta one. This software update actually has a few things that I did want to mention. Now, the bill number is, of course, a long bill number here, 21C. 5029G. Of course, we got plenty of betas to come before the official release. Of course, you see the journal application and much more. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, of course, Apple has also updated the iPad with iPad OS 17.2 beta 1. Mac OS 14.2 beta 1 is available for the Mac. Watch OS 10.2 beta 1. And of course, TV OS 17.2 beta 1 is available for the Apple TV. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the journal application. It is Finally, here Apple has made its debut. As you can see right here, this application, this is the splash screen that you get immediately after you launch the application. Of course, you'll be able to log in your day and things like that. So everything you're able to do in a journal, you'll be able to obviously log in here to the journal application. You see the UI here is fairly simple. Of course, I'll have more details as my days go by in order to provide more details for you guys as into how I feel about the application itself. But of course, being a journal, I need a couple of days to test this properly. As you can see right here, here, this is the splash screen that you get when you first launch the application. Apple talks about the privacy within the application and things like that. So much more coming within the journal application in the upcoming days. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, one feature that I was looking forward to, it is finally here. Contact key verification for iMessage. So iMessage contact key verification can now be enabled. And of course, you can find that under your iCloud settings and under all of your devices here. There it is contact key verification this of course will prevent any eavesdropping so if someone tries to eavesdrop into your conversation by using someone else's apple id that you normally talk to then this will give that message right there that you see that the apple id that you're talking to it is not logged into a device that typically is in contact with you so for example if you have a friend and someone takes their apple id and logs in on another device and tries to contact you trying to impersonate your friend the contact key verification message will pop up here telling you hey this iPhone or this iPad typically isn't used on this account so make sure you verify with the person that you're talking to so preventing eavesdropping finally here's something I was looking forward to here again I'll continue testing this the contact key verification you can also find it in messages of course so when you launch the messages application here you can click into the contact here scroll all the way down and you find right here the option to enable it directly within the messages application now with iOS 17.2 Apple continues to improve the Apple music experience so if we go into apple music two things to talk about here we finally have collaborative playlists and we have a favorite songs playlist tab available here under your playlist so if you favorite a song it'll be listed here and of course you can now use collaborative playlist to invite a friend or a family member that's near you in order to collaborate on the same playlist of course i'll continue testing this feature as well as it requires some time to see how it's working and things like that but awesome new features apple continues to improve the Apple Music experience. I'm really loving what they're doing here. There's also some changes happening here for iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max in regards to the action button. We now have a new translate option available here. So if we go into settings, you want to head on over into, of course, the action button section, and now you find the translate. Now, one thing I want to mention is the awesome animation that you get right there when you invoke it. Right there it is. You see that really cool wave and animation that you get with the translator right there. And as you can see right there, of course, since I'm speaking, it picks up on my voice. As you can see right there, it has this awesome animation right there in order to translate. And it's really cool. I like the UI. Apple is definitely the best at animations here. iOS 17.2 continues to improve the action.
action button for pro users on the iPhone 15, which again, I'm really loving iOS 17.2 so far. Now with this update, Apple has also added a new option to contact posters where you can now select an option for a rainbow color of options when you set a name on your contact poster. So this is an option that you now have. So you can have various colors as you can see right there on your name for your contact posters. Something that I wanted to mention because I think it looks really cool as you can see right there. Previously, it was only solid colors. I like this option a lot. Now, other minor changes happening here with iOS 17.2 have to do with the widget. As you can see right there, a new clock widget is now available. So let's go into edit mode here. Let's go into the widget. We also have a new weather widgets available here. So let's go into the weather widget and show you some of the new widgets now available for weather. I'm really digging the new update, honestly. Just when you think Apple can't add any additional awesome new features, they continue to improve the operating system, as you can see right here. Of course, this is beta, so you see here that it's a little bit glitchy. It's not providing full details, but we have the sunset option here. We also have the daily forecast options, as you can see right there, more details. So different widgets are now available for the weather and for the clock. I've noticed that there's that new widget now available, which I think a lot of users will find very appealing right here. That is a new clock, a digital option, as you can see right there. So yeah, Apple continues to improve widgets here as well. I think a lot of you guys will find this one very nice. I hope they have a dark variant of this one because it doesn't seem like it's added just yet. But yeah, new widgets are also available here for the weather. And we also have new widgets as you can see there for the clock as well. Now with iOS 17.2, we also get the first Apple Vision Pro and iOS feature. So we go into settings here, we go into general, and then we go into AirPlay and handoff. And we now have this new option, AirPlay play receiver if you enable this of course you can choose everyone or current user this allows you to stream or share content from an Apple Vision Pro to your iPhone, which is really cool. You can also password protect that as well. So using AirPlay, you'll be able to use this content sharing feature with Vision Pro on your iPhone, which is super cool. iOS 17.2 definitely continues to push the envelope here. I'll continue digging around the software to find additional new features and changes. I'll talk about performance, battery, and everything else in between on my follow-up video. And of course, stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm sure I'll find more new features and changes will I share with you guys on my follow-up video. Thank you for watching this quick one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.